300,000 faces like this are staring death in the eye. This is the situation in Turkana alone. And the situation is getting worse by the day. Turkana, Mandera and Marsabit are the worst affected. The food security station in this district has reached acute food and livelihood crisis. But they are not the only ones threatened by hunger. 1.4 million Kenyans in 17 other districts are in dire need of emergency support. And even as the world marks World Food Day, the government warns that the future for these people and many more does not look promising. If the short trains expected to begin next month fail, their plates will continue to be empty. The current phase of the emergency operation program is expected to continue until March 2009 and the number of beneficiaries will be revised depending on the prevailing food security situation. One million other people who are not covered in this program are said to be chronically food insecure and require urgent assistance. We are distributing 7,500 metric tons per month valued at Kenya shillings, approximately 300 million shillings to all the districts. That is over and above the 1.4 million that costs the government of Kenya and its partners 9 billion shillings. Although the World Food Program has warned that it will have to cut back on its school feeding programs due to high food prices, the government says it will supplement the deficit to reach at least 1.2 million school-going children in famine-stricken areas. But even so, officials in the Ministry of Agriculture say relief food is not reaching people fast enough. The ball squarely lies with the Ministry of Special Program. It's upon them to pull up their socks. The PS says that unless chronic poverty is addressed, food security will not be realized. Faisal Njiro, Citizen.